Hello guys, welcome to Leaves and Lungs. So I hope like everyone is preparing for your prelims seriously because this is the right time to kickstart your prelims preparation seriously. Okay, so like this is a main topic, more or less. So like after a prelims exam, you can come and revise these things. But still, if you are like preparing for your agriculture any other exams, you can just uh, like watch the video completely because like entomology is one of the hell of a subject that takes out a lot of preparation and memorizing. Okay, so guys, let's go to the chapter number two or the ways or the video number two or uh, the continuation of pest of rice. So guys, the first pest today we're gonna see is about on brown plant hopper. Okay, that is otherwise called as BPH. So the name is Nila Parvata Lugens. Okay, so this is the botanical, you no know, biological name given for the pest. So mostly distribution uh, is like uh, entire South India is like covered except uh, Goa. Like can you see like all the cultivating regions of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, West Bengal. So like all the major rice producing states are like affected by PPH. And also in some cases where sugarcane is growing, that is uh, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, and Punjab. Uh, like all these regions are like major sugar producing areas so BPH also affects rice as well as sugarcane and also some on some uh, rare cases it can also attack grasses okay so like it is also present in Southeast Asia such as China Japan and Korea okay so just do remember so it is a main uh, pest that is affecting all the three kinds of uh, major rice producing areas of Asia that is India China and Japan and Korea okay so these are the major rice producing states of Asia so the damage symptoms are like the nymphs and the adults congregate at the base of the plant above the water level and they suck the sap from the tillers. So basically like they are sucking out all the water content that is present in the plant. So if the water content is removed, the affected plant will get dried up eventually and this gives a scorched appearance called as hopper burn. So I'll just show you the picture of hopper burn in the upcoming slide. So just do know this thing alone. And circular patches of drying and lodging of matured plants are typical symptoms caused by this pest. And also it is a vector of grassy stunt, ragged stunt and wilted stunt diseases. So guys, this is the most crucial part of your preparation. If you are able to remember the damage symptoms, then you can almost get nearly half of the marks for the questions. Okay. So please be focused on the damage symptoms alone because this is where all these species will be like differing and varying. Okay. So here comes the most crucial part yet another crucial part that is management of BPH. So guys uh, like these are the general uh, procedures that have to be followed. That is uh, control irrigation by intermittent draining. So you have to be be precautious uh, while irrigating the crop and also avoid uses of excessive nitrogenous fertilizer and also avoid close planting and provide 30 centimeter rogue spacing between each plant. So this is way in this way you can uh, control the uh, infestation of the pest and also set up light traps to monitor and uh, control pest pollution. So this is a well known method. So like all the pests are mostly attracted to the light source. So if you can uh, set, a, set up a trap by using light you can uh, almost able to control the pest population. So as I earlier said like if you are able to remember resistant varieties then you can e easily able to get good marks. So resistant varieties such as Aruna, Karnataka, Kartika, Krishnaveni, Macon, Abhi, Asha, Divya, PY3. So these are the names. So if you are able to remember like three to four, like you, are, you can able to solve almost all the questions that can come on this part. Okay. So just remember the name. So mostly like these are like South Indian names. Like since I'm from South India, I can easily tell you like Bharti Dasan, Neela, Uday, Sonasali, Vajram, Chaitanya, Nagarjuna. So almost all the names are familiar to the South Indian. So people from South India can easily able to remember these things. Okay. So guys, so this is all about the management of BPH. So still there is like uh, like four to five points uh, in terms of management. So if you can able to remember like six to seven points, then easily you can score like uh, if the question comes for 10 mark, you can easily get like seven to eight marks. Okay. So such the importance of uh, the management. So spray imidacloprid or buprofizin or acephate. Okay. So just remember the name. So if you're able, if you're like well versed in remembering these names, then agriculture is a piece of cake for you and entomology especially. Okay. So also spray name uh, neem seed kernel extract 5% or neem oil. So this can you can easily remember and also drain the water before the use of any insecticides and direct the spray towards the base of the plant because that is where the sucking of the pest uh, like all the water content of the plant is being done at the base okay and also avoid use of insecticides causing resurgence such as synthetic uh, pyrethroid uh, methyl parathion, fenthion and uh, quinalphos 
also the release of natural enemies like wolf spider lycosa pseudo annelida and a green mirid bug uh, such as uh, citrorhinus uh, livid pennis okay so these are like the biological control so if you able to like put a subheading like biological control of the pest then uh, the examiner will easily give you good marks also so guys so just just remember like 6 to 7 basic points you can almost clear whatever comes on bph okay so like the next thing is white back the plant hopper so it is otherwise biologically called as sagatella fusifera okay so you don't need to remember these things because in upsc they don't they won't have these things and all so distribution as i said it is mostly present prevalent over the entire southeast asia and south asia india burma sri lanka like china pakistan japan indonesia korea so as i said in my previous video you can blindly write whatever all the countries that you know that they are rice producing states of asia okay so like you no need to mug up separately so just remember like you if you able to put the subheading you can almost able to get like one mark just for the completion of question sake and host range especially like rice maize millet sugar cane and grasses okay so like the difference between uh, bph and uh, wph is that it additionally affects maize and millets whereas in the case of bph they affects rice sugar cane and grasses so you can also remember like this so guys this is the pick of the pest can you see so some slight uh, silvery white bag is present uh, so this is why it's called as white bagged plant hopper and the damage symptoms so both nymphs and adults suck the sap and causes stunted growth and it causes hopper burn so more or less it is similar to almost all the hoppers so just write blindly hopper burn is caused at irregular patches and nymph falls on water keeping if it's leg stretched so guys can you able to figure out so like if you keep on reading this like two to three times then you can almost uh, like interlink everything so you can able to appreciate only the key differences and if you're able to mention the uh, that key differences alone you can easily score and prepare easily okay so such the importance of the entomology should be done and management uh, like it is given same as for bph you can all like you can write all the like six to seven points from bph and addition you can use resistant cultivar varieties such as so just remember this name if you're able to remember that's very good uh, like ar133 uh, tangna amel bro and uh, ied 8116 so these are like like additional points if you can able to remember this then it's very good for your answers so the next thing is rice ear red uh, bug so this is another classification ear red bug so it is otherwise bi biologically called as leptocorosa acuta and the distribution is mainly india and the rice growing areas so host range it's just only rice and millets it's not in either grass or sugarcane and the damage symptoms both nymphs and adults suck the sap from the individual grains at the milky stage so this is the most differentiating feature it is sucking at the sap or at the milky stage whereas the other stages and all uh, there is no like uh, like mentioning of milky stage it can affect at any stages here the affected grains becomes chaffy with black spot on the side of feeding puncture so this is like differently from the entire hopper burn symptom and the yield loss may be like 10 to 40 percent and uh, like bad order it will start emanating on disturbing the bugs in the field okay so with this smell also you can able to detect that it is like rice here bug here head bug and the management is like remove the alternate host that is echinoclaw from the buns and fields and ensure synchronous planting on community basis in an area use neem seed kernel extract five percent or Nochi leaf powder extract 5% or Ipomia leaf powder extract 5% or Prosopus leaf powder extract 5%. So guys, if you are like seriously like preparing for your exam, then you should have to remember all the key words, okay? And uh, chemically, like you can manage by dust, quinal phos, uh, carbaryl, malathion uh, and malathion or uh, like monocrotophos. So I, 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 I like I, in the previous video, I already told monocrotophos. So like just remember like four to five names, you can keep on repeating everything, okay? So guys, can you see this is how the rice here at bug will actually look like and this is how the chaffing of grains. So since it's affecting the milky stage of the grain production, the grains are predominantly affected. Can you able to see it? So like this will result in the 40 to 50 percent loss to the farmers who are cultivating the rice crops with this bug. OK, so you have to clear it up straight away. So guys, like uh, the response that I've been receiving is like very, very lukewarm. So like i'll keep on doing the videos so like please do spread this word to many people so that they can also be benefited okay so that is the main motto 
to help many people those who can't afford coaching and who are like many people uh, who think agriculture is tough so that is why this channel was started so please do uh, help us in uh, going this journey so guys thank you for watching this video have an awesome day i'll see you in the next lecture bye